Hello, my name is Gary Stone and I've got something very special to show you today. It's a four bedroom house with a four bedroom flat. Yes, the house is bigger than the flat, but you've still got four bedrooms in each. So, let me show you. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So as we get to the top of the panhandle, you can see there's a shade net parking on the right hand side. There's a double shade net parking in front of the house and then there's another shade net parking in front of the flat which I think possibly three cars can fit into and then I'll just show you back to the street uh, so you've got this fully paved area all the way front and back let me take you into the house first effectively you've got two houses here because the flat is actually massive Okay, so you've got a very big front door working on a, 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 piv a pivot and uh, we come in, you can see that all the walls are uh, face brick. So it's nicely done. First room on the left hand side is a little study, home office, just as you'd like to use it, can even be an extra lounge. It's got a, a west facing window. So that's nice. If people come to your house, they don't have to go through your whole house to go to your office. And here we've got a little TV lounge, also with a west facing window. If you wanted to have a house from home, an office from home, um, then, yes, two little offices over here before you really get into the heart of the house. <clears throat> so, just an open foyer area and uh, the stairs on the right going upstairs, which I'll take you to just now. And then you've got this entertainment area with built-in briars with the door that goes out onto the swimming pool area. So you've got the flat on the right hand side with frosted glass to give the house people privacy in the pool area. So it even smells like bra. It smells great. It's been cleaned up, um, but it's a bra area. And then a second place, which doesn't seem to be used, but can be used. And then that's the door we just came through. And he has another sliding door going into a lounge with a fireplace in the corner. And I won't say it's most important, but yeah, is a nice little bar. So for entertaining at home, you've got your wine racks there, and um, you've got place for a, for a little fridge in that alcove, and then you've got your built-in bar, which looks over your lounge area. So yeah, we've got our kitchen, salad prep bowl, double eye level oven, you've got um, a hob, electric hob, you've got a breakfast, a breakfast area, there's a pantry cupboard, quite a spacious pantry cupboard actually. I'm looking for the lights to show you because it actually is quite nice here. So your breakfast nook area and uh, lots of cupboard space and then 
you go through into your laundry strokes gallery so laundry basins scullery basin place for a machine dishwasher or a washing machine some ironing place um, place for your washing machines on this side over here and uh, you've got your prepaid meter for electricity over here you might ask where is the dining room so that would probably be your choice but this area here where we were where the bright areas are that could be a dining room or alternatively this area here where the stairs are or you could just eat on the breakfast nook which is over there or straight from the kitchen you can go into this area um, as the dining room which I said was the second office in the beginning of my video then you've got a safety gate um, going down the passage here to all the bedrooms what I can show you is it was like this when these guys bought there were some crack tiles just over here at the beginning of the of the passage um, it's been like that since the seller bought it prop, I can't remember if it was 10 years ago or how long back and uh, so now we've got this passage you've got north facing bedrooms this is a north facing bedroom over here cupboards on on the right hand side nice space Across the passage, you've got a sewing room, a sewing study, um, you can use it even for an ironing room, um, lots of cupboards, and if you wanted to, you could clear out all the cupboards and, and change the setup, and it's got the sliding door, which opens and closes. You've got basically passage cupboard which is massive lots of space for linen and stuff it's also got a sliding door that slides closed next bedroom carpeted flooring you can see it's north facing it's got a little bit of a garden on the outside it's got full burglar bars So you can see it's got a lot of space. Now you've got a guest bathroom, guest toilet over here. You've got the outside door that goes to the pool area. So if anybody's at the pool, straight in at the toilet, and then you've got this shower, which is separate. So should a person want to change it a little bit, you could put a door in the passage and make it one big bathroom or I use it as, as it is um, at the moment and yeah we've also got a, a bath with a basin so all separate at the moment third bedroom also carpeted flooring also north facing built-in cupboards I think this house is structurally very sound. Here's an intercom for the gate. Here's the alarm keypad. And this is your main bedroom. So, also north facing. Lots of cupboards. People have moved and left it open. And then we've got our ensuite, which is a bath and a toilet and a basin. I see there are a few more little cracked tiles in the bathroom here, but this is a minor fix. I want to show you upstairs.
nice solid wooden stairs. And then you come into the loft. Nice and spacious. Lots of light. Extractor fan. Opening windows. Um, yeah, there is a bit of a ceiling board missing. But easy to replace. And then... I'm not sure if, there's, if these panels can open, but it looks like an ideal place for cupboards. I don't see any handles on it. So it could possibly be packed into storage. Oh, changed into storage. There is an air conditioner up here as well. Now just come down the stairs and now we're going to go and have a look at the flat. So you can see it is a triple carport here in front of the flat. So there's parking for six cars under, under carport and more. Uh, without cardboard. The flat is completely self-contained. Hello kitty cat. So, you can see this flat has got a very nice big lounge and its own little dining room. And that goes leads through into the kitchen. But before I show you the kitchen, let me just show you the study area. Very nice study, which can be used as another bedroom. There is fiber uh, connected to the flat. Let's have a look at the kitchen area. It's a massive, spacious kitchen. And as you've seen, the living area is very big. So, yeah, we've got another two bedrooms, north facing. It's also got prepaid. This one hasn't really got built in cupboards, but uh, that's not the end of the world. This one is a bit bigger, but and this one's got built-in cupboards down that side and you've got a, a little um, laundry cupboard, a pantry cupboard um, over here you can see the space in it and then we've got this bedroom with an air conditioner this is an east facing window and this walk-in cupboard area over here. More linen cupboard space, a back door for the flat. It's got uh, its own little laundry area. And a separate toilet and a bath and a shower and a basin. I just want to go outside this door. So this is now the flat outside. You've got a side gate going through to the carport area. 
where we saw the triple carport and um, there's the outside Wendy house here and that gate goes up past the swimming pool area the swimming pool area is closed in so it's been it's been closed off here between the house and the flat and that would be the boundary between the house and the flat And this way you can walk around the outside of the house. You can see the aluminium frame windows, but it's locked at the moment. Now that you've seen this video, please give me a ring. Let me show you in real life. Remember that I can speak Afrikaans. My wife is Afrikaans. Um, it's just that Property 24 doesn't allow us to present videos in Afrikaans. You know, if you'd like to follow our videos, we have got a channel on YouTube. We have got every single house that I market in Waverley has got a video. If you like my videos and you go out with one of my estate agents, they've all got the ability to take videos. Um, and you can tell them that you think it's important and maybe that would convince them to do that. Thanks for watching and I look forward to meeting you in real life. Mm -hmm.